Okay, my thing just completely just cut off just now, but we are back with another video. Boy, King Marcus, aka Mosh Marcus, we're back with the video. I haven't watched Geek Gog, I haven't watched a Geek Gog video in so freaking long, so it feels good to finally, you know, watch him and see what he's got to talk about. I also need to catch up on my freaking anime and, uh, let's see what we got going on, man. Let's see what Geek Gog's talking about. I'm a huge fan. I love these kind of videos. They're definitely a lot of fun to watch. Very hilarious. I love the way, I love the setup and the editing design that Geek Gog does when he's come down to these uh, projects. And, uh, yeah, we won't get into it. Let's see what we'll see my man's talking about in this video right here. Michi is apparently one of the best isekai I haven't finished yet that I need to. One of the best romances of last year is back with the dangers in my heart. Looking I actually at heard about that. I heard, there. I heard it was actually now, pretty I know good. I haven't thinking. watched it. Are we going anime to see more of the most iconic role in anime? Our number one. Oh, oh. Maybe. I think this is your best work yet. But enough of those <laughs> What else do we have? We've got more romance, more slice of life, more girls, more isekai. A lot. Of Isakai. Like what's like Again, what's hot right now? Is there anything like the action, anything baby. good? Going on? Look at this! Oh yeah, shit's about to go down. Oh, he's about to fuck shit up. <laughs> What's the anime? But before we move on, this and, uh, video sure. is sponsored by Honkai Star Rail, a game I have never, ever played before. So let me tell you about this game I have never, ever touched. Honkai Star Rail is a free-to-play turn-based RPG that has been awarded the best game of the year 2023 on the Google Play and App Store, and the TGA Mobile Game of the Year that I have definitely, 100% honestly, not already spent way too much about YouTube. But hey, what's up, honey? Is there a way to unvirginify ourselves? Well, it's official, guys. <laughs> While us decrepit sex havers were busy enacting coitus, these damn virgins were secretly getting wizard powers. I'm sorry to say, weebs, but I've let you down. But the fight is not over. You can finish what I couldn't accomplish. <laughs> okay, so the guy here has the ability to read minds Whoa, by touching people because he's a virgin. But the catch-22 is the man is such a giga virgin that he can't ever touch anyone except for O. What the oh, fuck? Oh. It's that kind of show. Oh, okay, okay. Like okay. Like okay. Honestly, how can you y'all got to y'all got to tell me about this one, boy? Top husband material. He's even using the forbidden Aaron Yeager technique to riz up his fellow bro. It's been a while since we've seen a show go full BL bro love, but suffice to say, this is the most homoerotic thing we're gonna see all season. <laughs> What in the Yuri on ice? What the fuck is this? Yo, what are we watching right here, bro? I think I like men now. After the hey, yo, he drawing. To revolutionize the genre, <laughs> it's good to see Mecha going back to its roots. Just gay guys, innit? But on a serious note, don't make the same mistake as me and almost skip this. I thought this was just gonna be another standard real robot show. People are dying on the battlefield, fighting for their lives. You are witnessing the true horrors of war. Then out of nowhere, this guy drops in and just... Just listen to his theme song. For those of you unfamiliar with Mecha, this is like the equivalent of people fighting for survival in the brutal world of Attack on Titan. Then suddenly, oh, so it's like Attack on Titan, but the Mecha version. Okay, seems show, pretty dope to me. Exactly what they are doing. This is a Mecha show by Mecha fans for Mecha fans. With the gun ho, listen, I don't want to watch. I don't listen. I don't want to watch a Gundam anime. It's a Mecha anime. I don't have no, I don't know how long, bro. I'm coming because I'm coming on your ass, bro. I'm coming for that ass. Solo leveling. Okay, this. So Solo leveling. Oh, I heard a lot of great things about this freaking anime, dude. I heard, I heard, I heard this anime was freaking heat. They held nothing back when it came to the sheer violence compared to the original webcomic. Hiroyuki Sawano is, as always, bringing the hype with his OST. I gotta look, I, I'll check it out, man. I gotta see the heat, man. Good. And this opening is what I I'm definitely gonna give it a watch, man. I definitely gotta check it out for sure. 
but I am a little cautious because A1 Pictures is doing a pretty good job with the animation, but let's be real here. Solo leveling is not coming in here as the pinnacle of storytelling. One big thing that made this title stand out was that the art was absolutely godlike. That's true, good, yeah, definitely. Like, some of the best it's a webtoon, right? I, listen, as long as you don't get a freaking god of high school, is, bro, is this anime I'm going good. To match that? Because when I look at this art, I'm thinking the action has to be like Demon Slayer, Jujutsu Kaisen Season 2 level, you know what I mean? Because take that away and we have a story that's not too dissimilar to the truckload of power fantasy isekai we see every season. The main character ends up more perfect than Kirito, side characters become as useful as Yamcha. This is an Damn. unapologetic power fantasy show that lives on the rule of cool. And it looks great too, like the animation looks like definitely what, like... What can the show give us that we haven't already seen our so eyes? I've seen some themselves. clips, it looks really, really good. Really good. Anime this season, and this was the one that definitely interested me the most. And uh, yes, it okay, is good yeah. because I am a sucker for time loop anime. Coming from the mangaka that seems to have a curse for mediocre anime adaptations like Lucifer and the Biscuit Hammer, it looks like one of his works is finally getting a decent adaptation. I'm not too familiar with this one, but it does give me hope that we're going to get the Spirit Circle adaptation we deserve. Ah, this is more like, ah, ah, this is kind of interesting. Oh, <laughs> Did this motherfucker just hit him with a virginity punch? Mapper has come to us with another anime <laughs> original with another self-proclaimed virgin protagonist in an old-school delinquent showdown anime. I'm not sure what's up with all the freaking virgins having superpowers this season. And what Damn, bro, they're the going crazy, the boy. They're going freaking come crazy. Come on, anime, we need some representation for the freaking Hyman squad. You watch subbed anime, don't you? Yeah, I mean to sub. Anime? You mean <laughs> sub anime, right? Yeah, sure. <laughs> All right, now we're talking. Time for some real anime. Chain Soldier is the show to watch if you want to be a respectable human what? being. Did I say respectable? I meant the exact opposite. Oh, some JoJo that. shit, bro. What in the world? Ah, uh, yes. My favorite job. Slavery. Damn, yo, yes, you got dark for that. Chain Soldier, I've heard about this, and I heard this was actually really good. I heard this is like one of the better ones that came out during the winter Sometimes you have to respect a title that knows exactly what it wants to do. I don't know, this doesn't look like my kind of anime, though. I heard it was really good, though, but this one looks like my cup of tea. Not really. This is the rare type of series that has plot, but also has plot. You already know if this is the type of show for you, but I will say, the fight scenes went unexpectedly hard in the manga, and this action animation is not exactly the cream of the crop, but you can only expect so much when the team is working with one hand. If they chose to put their focus on another certain type of scene, I'll still be a happy man, cause let's be honest guys, who doesn't want to be stepped on by a group of hot anime girls, am I right guys? Hey yo, you want some <laughs> shit, nah, no, 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 we got nobody, nobody at all bro, nobody. Guys and fan base. This time with Dungeon Meshi, or Delicious and Dungeon, which no one actually calls it, even though it's named on the original Japanese manga. Going into this, I thought this was just gonna be a simple cooking show where some adventurers explore some dungeons, eat a bunch of weird monsters, have a good time. I was on board for this, but then I think the episode that really sold me was the one where they find mm. the living armor. Now in most shows, living armor is just normal armor that's imbued with magic, which is what you and everyone else assumes, but Dungeon Meshi takes this common idea and goes, nah, that's baby shit. So as I hear a question, <laughs> he notices something that looks like an egg and thinks to himself, why is there an egg? Why can the armor see me even though it has no eyes? Maybe this is a living thing after all, but it's completely hollow, doesn't die if I behead it, and it moves too rigid to be a slime and too silent to be a swarm, but by some good detective work, he manages to uncover a biological explanation behind the living armor that not only makes sense, but also makes it edible that made me go, damn, okay, I've never really thought about it like that. This is just one of the monsters we find in the series. Every single oh, wow. creature has careful thought put into their biology. Why does this remind me of that time I got reincarnated into a slime? Why does it remind me of that anime? The animation style looks just like that too. I get, I get vibes from that. Like I don't know why, why. it looks just like it to me. And to this, a core hey y'all, I'm I'm getting that time I got reincarnated to a star, I'm getting serious vibes from that anime, well, this I really am. At the same time as free run, all I can say is fantasy anime fans are eating good right now. Huh? Huh? What's all right, I what guess. What show we go next? Uh, yeah. I don't know, you just gonna I, die. Know. What the fuck is this? You know, I think she still could be savable. Uh, yeah, she still could be savable. Yeah, the city's still savable. Oh, shit, what we got here? 
See, what did I tell you? He saved the city, guys. It's saved. <laughs> Sometimes all the show has is the rule of law. Ishira, I've Sometimes heard about this one. it's enough. Ishira might just be that show. It's some ruined fantasy land where a bunch of Dark Soul bosses See, this might be a lot. This is take part cool. in a no-holds-barred battle bad. royale bloodbath. Isekai protagonists, undead warriors. Every episode introduces a new stupidly overpowered character for the true battle royale experience that will have you pass right. the best okay, like this, this is a UFC match. This, this might not be the prettiest looking this might season, like but this is star. it if you want some turn-your-brain-off edgy fun. So, you watch subbed anime? <laughs> nah. I'm into Dom. You mean dubbed. I don't know. I went into the show completely blind, thinking it was some cute parody of the magical girl okay. genre. Then yeah, five minutes in, I realized, like wait a goddamn I minute. I thought Chain Soldier was going to be the only thing bringing the culture this season, but now we have BDSM Bocce if she was a villainess. And the what thing the is, fudge? the scenes here go even harder, but the hey, problem is, yo, it's comedic this enough one, that I don't know if I should laugh anime. or be I'm turned good. on sometimes. If you want I'm more good. culture in your I'm life, skipping. give this one a watch. Skip. This might not be your proudest map, but it'll certainly Here's be your funniest. Here's an anime called Hokkaido Gals, a super adorable about some super adorable gals living in Hokkaido. <laughs> what the hell do you need me for? Now, if you don't know anything about Hokkaido, well, it's northern Japan, it's really cold, it has some of the best food you can find in the country, and it's got really thick milk. And then you have the gals. Now, for anyone wondering how these girls aren't freezing their butts off in this weather, you need to understand that in Japan, short skirts protection to the cold follows the same logic as RPG armor. Feels like I'm wearing nothing at all. I'll be real with you. This is clearly just paid propaganda by the Hokkaido Tourism Board, and God damn it, it's fucking working. Yo, is he going for the Aaron Yeager strat too? The hey yo, what the fuck? <laughs> Would have been a more accurate name for this show, actually. I feel like having healer or healing in your title has become a PTSD-inducing trigger word for us at this point, but I actually had a lot of fun with this one, for one not-so-obvious reason. I'm into Dom. For most people, this probably looks like another run-of-the-mill isekai junk food, because it is. But for yeah, someone with a trained eye like me, I can tell the difference between a white guy and a... White guy? Between a white castle and a five guys. And to any isekai trashmen out there who know what I mean, this feels like the latter. Not enough healing for you? Well, we have the unwanted undead adventurer featuring a dead skeleton protagonist slowly leveling his body back up. Oh, that's a totally different thing. Uh, excuse me, necromancy is just healing for those who believe in the five second rule? <laughs> hey, look, a middle-aged protagonist and he's adopted a cute little burp. Ah, so it's a simple slice of life about an older gentleman taking- Nah, it's more to it than It's gotta be, right? Am I right? Come on, cut. You Cut us some slack a little bit. Cut us some slack. Right, so the more to it than well, that. That's okay. Every slice of life needs its quirk nowadays. Surprise! Isekai oh, bitch! Okay, well, I wasn't expecting an isekai, but I'm not gonna complain. Oh, he's starting his own training company and learning the economics. Just like a business. I get it now, so it's gonna be a Spice and Wolf-esque anime with an isekai twist. Surprise! Magic, bitch! So we can use <laughs> magic in the real world. That makes sense. It's an isekai after all. Surprise! Psychics, bitch! Okay, so uh, I guess there are psychics in the real world, and he's getting tailed by a shadow organization of psychics now while training goods in an isekai with a talking bird who's secretly a 3,000 year old demon. This show is amazing. We got ourselves a cute little romance, this time with the most precious cinnamon roll who has trouble communicating because she's deaf, making her the actual, lore accurate, Komi-san. This is honestly goddamn adorable. I haven't seen a story like this since The Silent Voice, but this seems far more on the wholesome side, and it better stay that way because if anything happens to this girl, I will be shooting on sight. Hey, yo, he on some shit, Pat. Studio Bones are going through their 25th anniversary and they pulled out all the stops to celebrate. We got a new anime original sci fi title. Alright, so it's show not that really takes place a whole lot of. A little bit of Blade Runner, a little I, bit of Cowboy Tuesday. I don't Tuesday, know, other than like the, the sequels. In it. I feel I don't like know, more I feel like the top anime to watch right now is Jujutsu Kaisen and One Piece. This clearly has one of the most intricate and well thought out worlds of the bro, season. Bro, and normally I love the show to tell approach where you get to discover the world of story as it naturally develops. But this beginning feels like just a bit too much information has been omitted. What are the characters trying to do here? Yeah, why are we fighting? Like, Who the hell are these people in the first place? Piece, I'm gonna let it cook because right I right smell now. a potential delicious meal coming along, but I hope I at least get a look at I the menu soon. Ah, uh, another love confession victim of the goddamn anime fireworks. Well, you couldn't have picked a more cliche way to start off a romance plotline in your anime, but surely they can't drag this on for too long, right? Look, he clearly likes her, she clearly likes him. This motherfucker traveled to another world for her, and now they're bloody married. They're married, for God's sakes. I've hey, yo, that's, all right, that's, before, that's pretty tough, too, though. You can't even care about that when you are. Wait a minute. 
they actually gave him a second chance. This has never happened before in the history of anime. This is it. She's given him the perfect layup. Bro's got an open goal from two yards. There's no way he can fuck this up. <laughs> It's okay. I'm calm. Damn. 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 It's like that. Hey guys, hope you enjoyed that video. Thank you very much this month to Author Curtis Eckstein, Basil, Dysfunctional Degenerate, Flabberwocky, Husbando Hub, Jonah Thick, Mike808, Risaka12315, Payne Patchett, Pony Stark, Shouting Zombie, Watergeist VT, and everyone else, my Patreon, for helping to support me for this month and making this video possible. Guys, I hope you're having a happy new year, even though we're already fucking month into the new year. It's always a grind for me that first month when I have to get the best of anime and the winter 2024 anime video out back to back, but hopefully I can go back to my normal schedule now. Anyway though, I'm gonna keep it short today. There's not much more for me to say. I've been Giguk and I'll see you all next time. Man, nigga Giguk, always killing it. But anywho guys, this if that is it for today's video. Um, hope you guys enjoy these videos today. Hope you guys watch them, enjoy them. Uh, back in action, baby. We are back to making YouTube videos again, man. I feel it's good to be back. I'm having a lot of fun being back in the YouTube scene and once again. This will be I'm this time will be staying for good. Um, thank you guys so much for the love and support. I'll see you guys in my next video. Um, let me know, let me know in the comments on the what anime are you guys watching? What music, what TV shows, what movies are you guys watching lately? And uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys probably Friday or Sunday. So it's the anime bad boy out this bitch. Bye, Zeke.